Hi, my name is Troy Beekle. I'm a horticulture specialist with Premier Tech. And in this presentation, I want to talk to you about the tripartite association between the plant, the biofungicide, and the mycorrhizae found in our Promix Biofungicide plus Mycorrhizae product line. So let me start by asking you a few questions. Do you know if you order a cocktail or use a cocktail of biologicals, do you know if these biologicals complement each other or do they work against each other? Now individually they may benefit the plant very well, but what about when they're working together? At Premier Tech we found out that not all biological organisms are compatible with each other. So we spent several years trying to develop a growing media enhanced with active ingredients that were compatible and worked together with each other. And that would be our Promix Biofungicide plus Mycorrhizae. It is unique over other cocktails out in the market because we have done the research to verify that they do work together. So explaining what is the Promix Biofungicide plus Mycorrhizae is basically a growing media line enhanced with Biofungicide, which is a natural non-GMO bacterium called Bacillus pumulus PTB180. The second active ingredient, Mycorrhizae, is a natural non-GMO uh, endomycorrhizal fungi. Each of these organisms play a role in helping plants thrive within the growing media. So let me explain the relationship between the various groups. So the plant biofungicide relationship occurs when essentially, if you take a look at a plant root, it grows through the growing media and when it comes in contact with the spore of a biofungicide, which is what we add to the growing media, the biofungicide will germinate, shall we say, produce live vegetative bacteria that grow on the root system. And the reason why it's growing on there is the roots produce exudates which feed the biofungicide. And in return, the biofungicide starts to reproduce at high rates, forming a biofilm around the outside of the root system. It takes about 48 hours for this to take place. That biofilm then serves as a natural barrier to prevent diseases from actually penetrating, or I should say, going to the root. But the biofungicide also produces a polypeptide, which is a natural fungicide that suppresses Fusarium, Pythium, and Rhizoctonia, which of course can cause root disease, crown rots, and damping off. Another benefit of the biofungicide, it also produces auxins, which can increase root hair production on the roots, which can increase the overall uptake of of nutrients. So in that relationship, the plant receives the protection from diseases from the biofungicide and the biofungicide receives food from the plant. The second relationship is the plant mycorrhizae relationship. So again, it's very similar. When a plant root grows to the growing media, viable spores of mycorrhizae, which are added to the promix, if they come in contact with the root, will basically germinate and then the spores will then send forth a hyphae, which will then grow towards the root, penetrate the root, and grow with inside a root cell. Once in there, the mycorrhizae forms an arbuscule, which will take carbohydrates and sugars and other photosynthates produced by the plant, and will use that as a food source. So the mycorrhizae is benefiting from the plant. Then the mycorrhizae will produce additional hyphae that will grow out and, and extend past the root system to bring in water and nutrients, specifically phosphorus, copper, manganese, and zinc, and other elements, and bring them back to the plant root. So it's essentially like feeding the plant. Those benefits are realized approximately three to four weeks after planting. The last relationship I like to talk about is the relationship between the biofungicide and the mycorrhizae. Mycorrhizae will leak exudates that actually feeds the biofungicide, so it's receiving food from the mycorrhizal fungi. The biofungicide, in turn, will then form a biofilm around the outside of the hyphae, which actually protects the mycorrhizae from pathogens that would attack it. So protection uh, that's occurring for the mycorrhizae with the biofungicide grown on the outside of the roots and the, and the hyphae itself will greatly increase the population of biofungicide in the growing media. And not only that, but also there's a greater production of the polypeptide, which essentially supercharges the growing media. So think about that. With all the biofungicide bacteria, and the polypeptide being produced greatly increases the volume of the growing media that can actually serve as a suppressive unit to suppress and protect plants from Fusarium pythium and Rhizoctonia. Thank you.